Yo, what's going on guys? Just before we get to the video, if you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on, that means the absolute world to me. It really does mean a lot as this video did take quite a lot of time to make and you'll be notified every single time I make a new banger just like this one. So, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. First thing you want to go ahead and do is just go to the Google Drive link in the description, download everything in there. It's got the project file, presets and overlay for free, so you can go ahead and download those there. Then you want to go ahead and sync up your clip with the marker and the beat drop. Uh, from the beat drop where you have the shield crack, you want to move minus 50 frames back and split the clip. Then from the marker, you want to go one, two, three frames back and split the clip there. Then you're going to apply the first preset. This is going to be the Taro Skin Go first clip. And then we're going to apply the second preset, which is going to be the Taro Skin Go second clip. Now these two presets intertwine with each other. They're just separate so that we can do the color change. If you don't want to do the color change, simply all you have to go ahead and do is remove the hue sap bright, and that's just going to keep it a constant pink. So yeah, if you would like it as a constant color, you can do that if you want to. But for this specific effect, I'm going to uh, change the color. So the next thing you want to go ahead and do is right click on your video track and insert a new video track. I've already gone ahead and done that. And then you want to hold control and drag the first clip up. Then you want to select the audio press U and delete that so we don't have two audio layers and then you can just fade this in to about 0.12 then from here what you want to go ahead and do is just manually remove all of these effects now bear in mind when you remove the magic bullet looks it may take a bit longer as you can see it says not responding but in about a few seconds it should go and there you go and then you can just go ahead and manually remove all of these other ones by the way all the uh, plugins or the higher to get plugins are going to be linked in the Google Drive as well so if you need them you can get them there then we're going to apply the next plugin uh, next preset my bad and it's going to be the skin glow top layer now don't worry it looks really really weird but we can fix this by adding a mask and basically you can pick any point in the video you want to go to mask tick that box get the oval shape and basically create this around your character make it a bit thinner and then just make it across the whole body, uh, body of the character then you want to go to the feather type and put this to out and then put this to 15. once you've gone ahead and done that you can delete the first mask and drag this to the start and as you can see, you're going to have your nice mask around your character there with all the effects applied. As you can see, the colours of the uh, background will match as well, which looks really, really good. Next thing you want to go ahead and do is add the particle or overlay effect. You want to insert a new video track again, but with this one, you want to go to the compositing mode go and then choose it on screen so the black uh, background is removed. And then from here, you just want to fade this in a little bit before and after, just like that. And you can fade this in just with the outline as well. Uh, you can set this to a slow fade and then here you just want to go ahead and apply some regular hue sap bright um, and change the color again if you're keeping it as a constant color you don't have to do this at all just go to the hue shift go to the end and put this to 0.8 and depending on how long you have this you can kind of match it to whatever color you want finally we're going to work with the audio so you want to go with one frame to the left from the beat drop then you want to go to where the build up starts put that there then you want to go to the effects and choose a reverb this is basically going to create that nice echo sound that's pretty cool and I have a preset saved which you can go ahead and copy all of these settings for right here. Once you've gone ahead and done that you just want to basically fade this out but make sure that you fade the regular version and the reverb version together so it doesn't suddenly just change. Then you can fade this to the rest and then choose this to have a slow fade just like that so the audio will fully remove. And yeah you can basically go ahead and add some sound effects from there and the whole effect is done pretty simple and it looks really really good you can really customizable with it if you want it to change colors just like this then it's all done for you if you want to keep it as a constant color you can go ahead and do that as well thanks guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like i really hope this video did help you out if it did make sure to subscribe to the channel with post notifications on use code tavern the shop at 3000 supporters i'm doing a free edit pack it's going to have so many stack things just like this so use code tarot and finally if you want to take your editing to the next level make sure to go ahead and check out my editing pack link in the description it's got everything you need with even more presets just like this one thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one boys peace